Hey, uh, my name is John Wilson. I was born and raised in Grantville, Georgia, and I attended Noonan High from 1960 until 1963. Uh, everybody that I went to high school and all my friends know me then and still do is Johnny. And I graduated in 1963. And I'm Penny Wilson. I was Penny Jenkins. I also grew up in Grantville and went to Noonan High School. I graduated in 1966. And uh, we dated throughout high school and college and have been married for 45 years. And you taught at Noonan High School too, correct? I, I did. I did. I uh, spent 30 years at Noonan High School and I retired in 1999. One of the things that y'all did uh, while you were at Newton High School was go down to the dances at the rec center on Friday night. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that was a, that was a big thing to do. Uh, every Friday night at the local recreation center, which is still in existence off Hospital Road, they would have a, a sock hop, as you call it, and uh, the whole high school uh with their d dates would turn out and uh, and go. And for fortunately, uh, we went many times together. Uh, my brother, who was a year behind me in high school, his, his band at the time called the Techniques, excuse me, the uh, Night Beats, uh, played out there on a regular basis. And it was, it was a lot of fun for everybody. Everybody was well behaved and uh, uh, just did that for, I know 1962 and 63, I graduated, and I think it went on for a couple more years before, before it ended. But anyway, it was good times. Tell me something about the teachers at Newton High School at that time period, the time period that y'all were there. Well, uh, oh, when, I was, when we were in high school, goodness, um, there were some very good ones, I can tell you that. Um, Miss uh, Sarah Ellen Matthews was my Spanish teacher, and I had her, I had another teacher for the ninth grade, but her for three years, and she was just incredible. If she couldn't teach you Spanish, you probably can't speak any other language either. Uh, she was excellent, and I had two careers off of my knowing Spanish. Uh, I taught Spanish for 30 years, and then when I retired from teaching, I got a job with a, a BB&T bank and worked there for 12 years, and uh, I did the Spanish translation, among other things, but I, I think that's probably why I got hired, because of knowing the language, so that was important. But I uh, had, had some excellent teachers. Barbara Landreth, she was Andrews at the time, was my 10th grade English teacher, and she's still there. So there, I think it says a lot about Noonan High that there have been so many people that spent 30 years or even more right there at that same school, or at least in the county system. I, I, there's... There's a lot of long-timers that have uh, spent their whole career there. Okay, what about um, the uh, Kennedy assassination? Uh, I know you were there at the time, Penny. Can you remember? Uh, I was actually uh, in Barbara Landry's 10th grade English class shortly after lunch, and uh, one of the students was uh, not in the class when it began because he had been at an appointment or something, and he was he had checked in through the office, and had come into our class late, and he came busting in the door uh, saying, the president's been shot. Well, he was this goofy kid that would al was always doing something silly, something funny, and uh, we didn't believe him. And uh, Ms. Landreth, Ms. Andrews at the time, didn't believe him, and she said, that's not funny, sit down. And we we're like, please. And sure enough, a little bit later, they came on the intercom and made the announcement that it was true, and it was... Uh, it was something I don't ever want to experience again. It was, uh, it was quite traumatic. Well, tell me about uh, the change. What did, when you came back as a teacher, what was different about the school? And, and did you actually teach with some of the people that taught you? I actually did teach with. I told you there were a lot of long-term long people. And uh, I did teach with a, a number of uh, people who were teaching at the time that I was a student. Uh, quite a few, Ms. Landreth was one. Uh, Sarah Estes was one. Richard Smith, maybe, I yeah. guess, was still there. Uh, that, a few, quite a few. I, I can't even tell you how many, but... Miss um, Nicholson? Yep. Gail, Gail Royal. She was Gail Royal when I came back. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. I could probably 
think about it and name quite a few more. But uh, again, I think that says something about the school system that uh, people last that long at the, in the you know the same same place. But as far as uh, students, we had we had some changes in of course in dress and in discipline somewhat. But I I never quite lost the feeling that it was sort of a community oriented small town school, even though the school was much much larger. Of course, I just. It just always sort of had that feel to me, even up until 99. Which leads me to my next question. Uh, what do you think the relationship between Newton High School and the community is, and is that an important relationship? I think it is important, and, and like I say, I think it's exceptional here. It, if, if you look at our local newspaper, you see what emphasis they put on the school activities and education, and you go to the local sporting events, and it's just not, not just the parents that are going to the sporting events, it's the whole community interested in what's going on and uh, I, th I think that's important. For the most part we've always had excellent school board members oh, who, yeah. are, who are really interested uh, in doing what's best for the kids and for the communities. Uh, you can't say that for all school systems that surround us uh, and, and, and we've just had great great leadership and great members as, as a whole. And the same thing as the supporters not just being parents. These are people who don't right. have kids at school anymore at all, and they don't have their own little agenda. They're interested in, in the school system. Right. We, have, we have members now on the board that, that don't have any kids in the school system. It's just they just want to do what's best and what's right for our young people. And we have, we have a, a very good school system because of this very good school board that we have and very good leadership at the top. And basically, it's always been that way, even going back to when, uh, when we were in high school. And again, I graduated in 1963, and we just, we just had good folks running the school board, hiring good folks to teach and work with our young people. And as a result, this is what we get, a, a very, very good, well-run school system. 